my dear students welcome back to this mini hs school i believe you are all happy and safe at home once again welcome you all back to this english class so today we are going to complete the remaining portions and i'm going to deal with that worksheet part so we are going to complete that worksheet part and then finally self assessment part i'm going to detail it about after that please send me your own self assessment part then it will be helpful for me to complete the revision portions accordingly okay clear so let's move into our class as we know before getting to our class we have a warm up exercise so uh, let's go into our today's warm up exercise today's warm up exercise is tongue twisters how we all remember about tongue twisters yeah that we did in previous classes right yes today as warm up exercise we are going to do tongue twisters three tongue twisters and that is going to be fun as well as easy for you it will help you in pronunciation practice reading things okay so the first tongue twister for you is my mummy makes me muffins on mondays so the pronunciation process is like m m m m m this is the process so it comes with m letter so we are going to try for five times first let me show you and then you just try yourself okay and don't forget to send me that as a recording okay so let me try for you My mummy makes me muffins on Mondays. 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 So, the first tongue twister is this. And I don't want that first. You can try. First just try to read like my mummy makes me muffins on Mondays. Next My mummy makes me muffins on Mondays. Slow by slow, increase your speed. Okay. So then, second tongue twister for you is faithful friends freely forgive. Once again, faithful friends freely forgive. So this is a sentence. So again, let me show you. Faithful friends freely forgive. 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 So here the sound is yes from the letter y. Yes. Okay, clear. Yes. The next sentence, the sound the sentence makes. It's one of my favorites. So the sentence goes like. Zebra zig and zebra zag. See, the sound is like z, some kind of vibration. Z from the letter z, twenty sixth letter. Yes. So this is a sentence. Let me show you. Zebra zig and zebra zag. 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 So you can feel the vibration, right? So these are the tongue twisters for you. Please get at least okay three times each sentence three times. Try it out and send that to me to my personal WhatsApp number. Clear? Okay, children. So let's move to our today's class. That is worksheet three, B part, page number twenty five. English workbook page number twenty five worksheet number three B part clear. Let's move into that. So the B part is circle the all words in each set of words. What has been done for you? So this is all there. The words given there is actually naming words. But how to find that? Yes. See. First one, father, brother, aunt, animal. 
So let's think about that. Let's think about these things. People, animals, things and places. These things. Okay. So for example, they done that for you. I'll explain that. Father comes under people. Brother comes under people. Aunt comes under people. Animal is a next set. Right? So animal is a auto now. Clear. So the second one. Lion. Lion comes under Animals. Baby comes under. Baby comes under. People. Pigeon comes under. Animals. Fish comes under. Animals. So the order now is. Baby. So the second answer is. Baby. Please circle it. So here. The third one. Sky, lion, star and moon. So we know that sky related with moon and that related with stars. The odd one is lion. But let me explain that sky, moon and star. Which noun is that? Why we can fit that sky, moon and star? It doesn't fit under people and doesn't fit under animals and here things and places. So sky, star, moon. Obviously. It's not things. It's not objects. So, earth. Earth is a place to live. So, obviously, earth is a place. And so, moon. Moon in the sense? Yeah, humans have learned to live. So, obviously, that comes in a place. And then stars. They are saying that something, something related to that. So, obviously, that may, we can't fit that as place so what we can do is it's so confused and let's come under common noun common noun it was naming word nouns it must come under common noun so for this question let's relate it correlated sky stars moon correlated and lions different animals so the odd on us lion Fourth one, pen comes under things, table comes under things, ball comes under things, market comes under place, market comes under place. So, market is the odd one out. Market. So the fifth one is school, it's a place, home, it's a place, park, it's a place, mother, it's a people. So the odd one out is mother, M-O-T-H-E-R. So this is the answer for the worksheets that I gave as homework. So clear? Okay. So please take your students, but there we have last of that lesson we have self-assessment parts page number 42 page number 42 there you can see self-assessment part first question identify objects i see in school so you cannot answer there because you are not coming to school so leave that second question name of the things i see on my way to school leave that too third question use naming words correctly to complete sentences so, this you can answer. Whether I can do it on my own or I can do it with help. Use naming words correctly to complete sentence. Last class we saw about that, right? Yes, so the next uh, next thing. Spell names of things correctly. Spell. Spell in the sense? Spelling. If I say ball, what's the spelling for ball? B-A-L-L. -L. So, this is that thing. Uh, the Spelling. Okay, so spell names of things correctly. Mark there. Listen and take objects in the picture. So, if some pictures are displayed, and if I'm reading out that name, can you able to find the pictures? That's the thing. Next, talk about how I go to school that you cannot leave that. Make sentences using naming words. That's what we saw in last class. So, this self-assessment part. So, please make that your self-assessment part and send that to me. So, 
So here we completed our today's portion. So today's activities are first tongue twister and second this self assessment part. So please don't fail to send me the self assessment part then it will help me to lead you. Okay. So make sure you are sending your both activities to me. Okay children. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye.